All right, guys, we replaced the battery just temporarily, and I plug in the, uh, I cut the, the ends of it. So these are the ones, cut them off um, so that I can just fabricate and try to utilize them where um, the battery connector is supposed to go. So doing so, um, I have the negative tied into this. I stack them together, plug it this way, and the uh, we have the power supplied to the battery uh, to the system. And let's flip this one over and see. There goes power. And it's reading at 13 when I plug, I just plugged that um, um, before I turn the camera. And this is what is happening. And we have 13 point something volt. And we can able to turn the inverter. We can able to turn the 12 volt on the device there. The power is not dropping compared to what happened earlier from the previous video before this one guys and this is what we're gonna do we're gonna put the temperature uh, sorry the um, volt voltmeter the probes to the uh, the terminals and I'm gonna show you the voltage on the fluke meter right here like and subscribe JW Solar USA let's pop down this thing so we can't have any fault Result or arcing and uh, Let's go on this plug this one here Sorry for the uh, sirens um, Let's plug this guy here and plug this guy here you see the voltage that is reading currently is a 13.76 volt. 13.76 volt. And let's try and put a charger into this and see what we're going to be having from here. Like and subscribe. JW Solar USA from Minnesota Command Center. All right, guys. Now we have all done the setup here. And what we're going to do now, we're going to be initializing charge on this lithium batteries for the first time and see if we're gonna have power by plugging this cord right here it's gonna be a blue light illuminating and that means we are good to go aha let's see that's a blue light right there so we started putting some charge on the batteries while monitoring this uh, uh, voltmeter and see how the voltage is climbing right now one of the batteries was sitting at 14.2, 14.4, I think 14.4 approximately. And so one of them, I think is this black one with the black tape, is more higher charge compared to the other one. Because of that, and I decided to uh, parallel them. And now you see how the voltage is going. I don't know if this charger here is... Uh, is um, adequate or designed for this kind of uh, charging parameters or charging capability so it puts a three amps which is below the recommended thing for the charging the batteries it says the recommended is going to be um you see the input is a 1.4 and the output is 15.3 volt which i think is a little bit higher uh 15.3 volt and uh, 3 amps DC so it's a little bit higher compared to the battery specification which goes to 14 point 14 point something no 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 they can go up to 16 these batteries can go up to 16 okay this battery can go about 16.6 or something I'll put the the the, the, uh, the specification specification on the description below so you guys can see the spec specifications and uh, we are fine so we can go all the way and because these batteries are built in with a BMS battery management system 
and that means um, it's gonna cut off anyway. It's not gonna overcharge the batteries at all, and I think everything's just gonna turn out pretty well. So we have to observe it uh, uh, carefully and see. And I'm gonna leave it open like this, and I'm gonna be um, the battery. It has a temperature sensor. This uh, Yeti. It has a temperature sensor that is uh, um, plugged. Um, I'm gonna show you where the temperature sensor is plugged. I don't wanna move this wire too much. So temperature sensor is the one, I think this one here, this wire right here. So I can able to splice this maybe, and but here I don't even know the polarity on this, ba on this battery uh, sensors. These are temperature sensors embedded into the BMS. I can able to improvise and take probably last the extreme wire, extreme wire on the other one here and tie it together. I use as a negative, I use this as a positive, the way they have them indicated here. But for maybe for sensor, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna be like a positive negative thing, but I think they just wanna make it to look like a polarity, positive negative. It might be, I don't know. So I'm not gonna open this battery and check. The polarity is a positive negative. I'm not gonna do that. But if I wanna do that, take the extreme end or the inside one, inside to inside and tie it, and just um, splice this wire right here and connect these sensors into this, to this board. But since they are not all regulated the same way, well, if this battery started getting warm, this one will shut down the system or it's gonna slow down the charge. So it's a double features that we have here, double protection. I think I'm gonna, uh, I'll settle good with this uh, setup that we already have here. Well, I'm gonna charge. So 2017 batteries I put there. And um, so it's almost um, uh, 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 three years, three and a half years because some of three, 2017, I think is the fifth month. They just turned another one, the other one just turned uh, four years and the other one is going to be i think is december so three point something years so it's charging we're going to pay attention and watch it carefully and we replace this clunk big clunk of battery which is uh it can charge about 14.8 at uh 25 degrees c and uh standby use on 13.7 so since we don't have those float charge uh, flow and uh, um, absorb and float charges, I think this guy can do it because the, the, the charger can go up to about 15. So this battery will never see the top the, the, the top balance. So it's just gonna see stay there. So let's charge it up and see how everything works with the BMS and we see how everything goes from here. Like and subscribe, JW Solo USA. This is part two of the video. We're replacing that. And for this one, so it can be a better uh, battery system or a power pack. So I'm just going to put some styrofoams here or pad them here. I can put a, easily put a third battery in here. But the only thing, the door or this guy here, because of this flange, whatever is here, that's supposed to open the, hold the battery because the battery is supposed to sit right here like this in between so it holds the battery here so because of that so that battery can go anywhere see that so if i remove this guy here cut this thing off trim this guy down then i can easily fit a third battery in there so that gives it um um uh 75.04 watt hours which is six sixty six hundred amp hours which is 6.6 .6 amp times three that gives us a longer run time on this little device here so this is a good hack you know this is i'm gonna call it um uh gold zero gold zero yeti 150 battery hack lithium battery hack so i think that sounds really pretty good so let's keep this one charged and I approximately we already went uh, 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 three, four to five minutes now charging. Everything tends to be easy, uh, really cool, and uh, it's working well. 
what I'm going to do, I got to go to the store and buy these plugs here. And I can just solder these ends that I cut off from this here. So I can have a plug, easy plug. I don't want to cut these ones. In case I have to go back to a standard battery, maybe I'm um, being so lucky or maybe whatever. Then I end up finding these batteries back here. And I can able to swap them easily if these ones have to end up having some trouble. And we can able to play around and see C-Lead Acid and AJ, um, C -lead Acid battery. Okay, valve regulated steel battery with a lithium. But why would I go back if I'm already um, upgraded to this? No way. I'm not going back. So I'll keep this way. All I have to do, I have to buy more of this battery from battery hookup and see in case something happened, then I can able to uh, replace them again or remove this guy here and add a third battery into it. The BMS is going to do its job. All right, guys, we're doing pretty good job here. We're charging and he's holding up. Let's see how everything goes. I'll let you know later. Like and subscribe. Bring a new part three later to see how everything turns out. Like and subscribe. JW Solo USA from the command center. Bye for now.